So this is my first attempt to make my own satan. Um, I've had pre-made, you know, meat replacements before, um, but they always come with so many ingredients and a lot of starch. Uh, well, I just wanted to try making my own because um, it's kind of it's lower carb than most of the pre-made meat replacements that you can get. So never done this before, and let's give it a shot. First up, I'll put 1,200 grams of all-purpose flour in a bowl. Seems like a lot, but there it is, 1,200 grams. Next, we have 750 milliliters of water. I'm gonna use distilled, just because I like distilled. Here we go. water into the flour, and I can already tell I'm gonna need a bigger bowl. Mix, mix, mix. Gluten is forming. All right, so my bowl's a little small for this, um, but it's pulled together enough so that I'm going to turn it out onto this cutting board and knead for 10 minutes. All right, so I've been kneading for 10 minutes and I'm supposed to be looking for smooth and springy. So, all right, I kneaded for five more minutes. Now I'll popped it back in the bowl, covering it, and I'm gonna let it sit there for two hours. All right, so the two hours are up and I've filled my bowl with cool water. And we are just stretching and turning this until the water turns clear. I'm just gonna pull and stretch on this. We are washing the starches out of the wheat. You see these stretchy guys here? These are gonna be our meat tenders. So, just want to wash all of the starches out until that turns clear. So, I'm going to go pour that water out and refill it and keep kneading until it's clear. And I just put my second round of clear water, clean water in there, and you can see it start to turn white really quickly. So, we still have quite a bit of starch left to go. See, now it's, I just turned it upside down once and it's already white. So, and as far as I understand, like I said, this is my first time doing this, but you can save this starch liquid and use it as a thickener, but I'm not going to do that today because I'm just focusing on my starch or my gluten ball here. Round three. getting stretchy. All right, this is round four of the wash, getting all the starch out, and you can see my nice strings starting to form. That is what those strings, that's what's going to give us our uh, pull-apart barbecue chicken-like texture, which is what I'm going for, because my attempt is going to be to make like a fried chicken out of this. So it's still still white. So I'm gonna just keep going. Until it turns clear. Alright, so I did like three or four more rinses. Now I'm just gonna pat her dry. And next step for the recipe, I'm gonna cut this into three long pieces, three strips. And I'm going to braid it, and then we're going to let it rest. One, two, three. All right, now that we have our three wet bread slugs, we're going to braid them together. Braid. 
Next, we're going to tie the braid into one big knot. All right, my braid is in a knot. Now I will go get my pot and put some salted water onto a low simmer. So I got my salted water heating up. And you can also use bone broth, veggie broth, chicken broth, any sort of broth that you want to cook the uh, washing. But I don't have any of those things today, so I'm just using salt. Because we're going to coat the outside of this in a crispy batter anyway. So I'm not too worried about inside flavor for now. Alright, we're just about to a simmer. Um, I've got my this little hot plate on to as high as it goes. And I don't even know if it's going to bring my actual water to full simmer. Which is kind of lame. Um, but I've been waiting a minute, a hot minute, and it's not simmering yet, so I don't think it's going to get any hotter. But we're it's hot enough to cook the wheat protein, so we are going to pick up the protein ball and drop it into the water. Into the pot. Yep, and the recipe says to simmer for two hours. I'm gonna check it after one hour, um, just because the directions were for one of those Instapots, and I'm not using an Instapot, so. We will use a food thermometer to check the temperature, and we'll get her up to 165. So I got my wheat protein over quick next door to my cabin and I got it in a pan and I have it just uh, searing on both sides. Golden crispy! Alright, well I've got that uh, protein rolling. I'm going to mix up some flour. I've got some uh, sea salt and garlic, fresh ground and fresh ground pepper, and I like a splash of turmeric in everything. Um, we're almost done with the uh, cooking of the protein. I'm gonna let it rest a few minutes, and then I'm going to dredge the strips, and we're gonna boil them, or crisp them up in some coconut oil. Coconut oil. Hit her with a little flour, seasoned flour. This is coconut milk. Back in the flour. And let's give her one more dunk in the coconut milk. Fritter number one, going in. Let's do the rest. Fry, fry, fry. My oil should have been hotter, but it should work. Looking good. Let's hit him with some buffalo. Toss to coat. All right, here we go. Get our crispy little chicken fingers ready to go and be paired with uh, french fries or vegetables.